humanitarian agencies alerted on Thursday about the risk of a devastating famine threatening Gaza on a daily basis, especially more than 300,000 people in the north of the Strip. In this sense, the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs said that the World Food Program has warned them that the amount of humanitarian aid that the Palestinian enclave is receiving is insufficient to prevent a famine. Precisely, they also reported that the last time they were able to deliver food to northern Gaza was on January 23rd, exactly 16 days ago. On the other hand, international experts reiterate that the blockade imposed by Tel Aviv on the humanitarian aid constitutes a war crime and adds to the accusation of genocide presented by South Africa before the International Court of Justice. Walter Turk, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, emphasizes that the Israeli forces are destroying all the buildings in the Gaza Strip that are near the fence that delimits Israel from Gaza. Israeli Defense Forces are reportedly destroying all buildings in the Gaza Strip that are within a kilometer of the Israel Gaza fence, clearing the area with the objective of creating a buffer zone. Destructions carried out to create a buffer zone for general security purposes do not appear consistent with the narrow military operations exceptions that are set out in international humanitarian law. Extensive destruction of property not justified by military necessity and carried out unlawfully and wantonly amounts to a grave breach of the Fourth Geneva Convention and a war crime. In this context, the commissioner added that there has already been widespread destruction and demolition of large-scale civilian infrastructure, including residential buildings, schools and universities in non-combat areas. This will result in the displacement of more people. Since October, my office has recorded widespread destruction and demolition by the IDF of civilian and other infrastructure, including residential buildings, schools and universities in areas in which fighting is not or no longer taking place. Israel has not provided clear reasons for such extensive destruction of civilian infrastructure. Such destruction of homes and other essential civilian infrastructure also results in the displacement of communities that were living in these areas and appears to be aimed at or has the effect of rendering the return of civilians to these areas impossible. I remind the authorities that forcible transfer of civilians may constitute a war crime. In Lebanon, the Islamic resistance movement Hezbollah reported the attack on two Israeli